Hey everybody, it's Rara and welcome to the next episode of Satisfactory. In the last one, we upgraded our production like five-fold or something like that. And uh, I am on my way to find pale berries for a reason. I am going to just walk around the world until I find one because I really want one uh, for reasons. And you'll see. Oh, what the hell? Found like little mycelia mushrooms over here. Well, we will, we will take these. The mycelia within this fungus suggest strong molecular bonding features frequently observed in adhesives and medicine, both beneficial for field research. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Yes, thank you, Ada. Oh, there's just like a ton of these over here. Alright, well... <laughs> I'm gonna speed this up or cut away one of the two. Oh, shit. Um, okay, well, I guess we're killing these now. Didn't mean to trigger this. Uh, uh. Didn't even see that. Are there gonna be pale berries in this adventure though? Here's hoping. Nope. Come on. Shit. Did it only spawn one? I don't know, but we take the remains and oh god, the lighting here is so difficult. Okay. Hey, it's dark as hell in these caves. Kinda pretty looking though. Just uh Oh, another hatcher spawner over there. Let's try to avoid that if we can. I'm just looking for a pale berry, man. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, you know what? We will go over here. I I am now intrigued. Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no! Stop! Slow down! Wait! I can't get up there. Fuck. <laughs> we go around, maybe? Oh yeah, we can get up this side. No, no die. Okay. No shit! I fell. What are you? Uh, uh. Crap. Okay, up, up here, up here. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, no. <laughs> That's such a weird angle, I can't, I can't make it up there. What the fuck? We got this, we got this. We're pro gamers. Uh. Die. Die, you hatcher spawner. I got, I got your number. Okay, oh. Oh, goodness, there's a whole bunch more. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Let's let's, let's uh, walk away. Oh, there's another spawner. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, let's take all the barrel nuts we've been collecting so far and just eat up. Yeah. Our health will technically go to full uh, over time. Oh god. Oh goodness. No. Stop. No, oh, I'm freaking out. Okay. Uh, but we'll be. Uh, well, yeah, it'll technically regen over time, but they nerf the regen speed. It used to only regen up to the first three bars, but they made it so that it will regen your whole bar now. Just a lot slower. So it's a trade-off, but I think it's worth it. You don't have to waste so many uh, healing supplies. Uh, now. Okay. Can I just get up here? Thank you. Die, Hatcher's water. Ah. Okay. Give me you. Well, this is why we were here. Pick up yellow power slug. We haven't even found a green power slug yet. But power slugs are really nice because they will allow us to overclock our machines. A green power slug will give us a one overclock thingy. <laughs> they're, they're like little batteries you put into the machines. Yellow will give two and purple will give uh, five. Or actually, you know what? They took green power slugs out of the game for some reason, even though they were perfectly fine, and they replaced them with blue power slugs, which, uh, look, I mean, I, I definitely prefer the blue ones, but there wasn't really an issue. Oh my god, no! Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, that's a stinger. As you can see, they're not so bad, but, like, what the hell, man? Regular spiders are bad enough, but their own alien take on spiders, eh, not very comforting. And that was a small one, so... Here's hoping we don't come across whatever the big, the big one in this cave. Oh, don't want that for myself. Oh wait, what are these? Can I pick these up? Oh, I thought like, is this like another kind of mycelia? But I feel like I would have read that in a patch note if there were new kinds of, um, new kinds of mycelia mushrooms. Not more hatchers. No, stop, stop. Oh, just, uh, oh god, oh, I get the spawner. 
Okay, I Jesus, why are there so many of these now? I preferred the enemies before uh, they had the spawners, because those little flies, they would just spawn... Uh, I forget how it worked before, but I'm pretty sure they did really just existed in the world. They were just kind of like flying around doing their own thing. And um, they had a, quite a bit more health before, now, and now they die in one hit to anything, including this little zapper. Uh, and now they will like... That's a bomb on your body. Which is not a trait they had. They, the, they didn't actually take any damage before. But now they have the spawner. Which means that they'll infinitely keep going until you destroy it. Which is kind of annoying. I think I prefer it the old way. But you know what? I'm not a game designer. I don't know what's best. But given how, you know, the state of a lot of games today. I don't even know if game designers know what's best for video games. So, I don't know. Oh! That's one of those crash sites I was talking about, where they have like a little uh, hard drive in it. We want to get that if we can. So many freaking barrel nuts! Did they nerf the spawn rate of pale berries? Because I don't see like any pale berry bushes anywhere. Sulfur. All right. <laughs> we will mine us some sulfur. Why not? This is a mix of sulfide and sulfate minerals. It could be an indication of recent volcanic activity. A new research tree exploring volatile self-defense applications can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, um, yeah, we found like a little motors over here? N near crash sites you will find little, uh, components, little just item things on the ground. Stop! <laughs> Stop hurting me in this way! Oh my god, there's a guy that's sending a whole ass army! Stop! No, no thanks, I didn't sign up for this. Okay, well, we're gonna leave that crash site alone since it's kind of high ground and we don't really have a way to get up there. Let's just, uh... Let's take our barrel nuts and heal. We have so many of these. I mean... There we are. This why, why, I don't even know why I have the portable miner equipped. Barrel nuts only restore half a heart of health and... Oh, it's a summer sloop. Whoa! Oh, God! Oh, no! I'm not equipped for this fight! Um... Deuces! <laughs> I'm gonna go somewhere else and you can- oh god, what the fuck? Okay, that is- that is a- an adult, uh, spitter of, I don't know, like the frozen blue kind or like tundric. I don't know, it had like a blue shot. They added- they added lots of enemy, like, type, um, variety, like, not- not like different types, but they, um, I'm not explaining this very well. It used to just be that there were spitters, and then there were adult spitters, and there were hogs, and there were adult hogs. But in more recent updates of the game, they made it so that there are now, like, poison guys, and, like, frozen guys, and, like, uh, fucking desert dudes. <laughs> I don't remember all the exact types. I guess, you know, you could probably tell. Um, I guess that's one of the <laughs> that's one of the strengths of starting in the grassy fields is that you'll find a ton of pale berries and they're not exactly hard to come across. I need to find more of just like a regular foresty uh, or green kind of area, and then we will be able to get our hands on some pale berries. But like honestly, we need to find them quick. <laughs> I I have a time limit for this this uh, this episode here. I can only go for so long. No spitter, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Are these pale berries? Did, did they turn them into these cactuses? I don't remember reading about this. No, those are those are just cacti, aren't they? I said cactuses, like a ill-informed person. They're cacti. That's the plural. Why did I just get a re a red tint all over my screen? I don't love that for me. I don't, I don't love how it's like in Breath of the Wild when uh, the blood moon comes up. Very unsettling. Right, let me see here. Literally, just barrel nuts as far as the eye can see, but no pale berries. I want to cry. Unless they did turn pale berries into those cacti. I don't know. I'll just get all these nuts, though, for now. Am I going insane? Uh, maybe don't answer that one. Oh god, not another, not another adult spitter. Why am I surrounded by these dudes? It's a baby spitter. Ugh. Either way, I'm trying not to engage for now. Just gonna run right past them. Oh god, I think some of these plants look like spitters too. 
Not a not a good feeling to have. Okay. Jesus, we really are at a weird section of the map. Oh yeah, okay, we do have the map unlocked now. I forgot about that. Uh, can I orient myself properly? I, I don't really know where we are. I mean, I do. Kind of. But it's... Uh, I th Ooh. Okay, this is where we are at normally. This is our base. This is where we're at now. I feel like this is like the edge of the map. I mean, as you can see, there's just... Oh, oh god, there's just shit out there. So clearly we're going the wrong way. In terms of making our way over to more luscious green -ery. Did they straight up replace paleberries with cacti that have paleberries in them? Because those look like paleberries. I mean, kind of, right? But like, does that mean I need the chainsaw to get them now? That'd be silly. That'd be silly. No, I'm going. I'm going to go find paleberries. Damn it! I don't care if it takes all freaking episode. He would live to regret those words. Oh, it's a Mercer sphere. Give me. Oh God! It's dudes who want to kill me. Stay away! I swear to God, paleberries were not this rare before. I guess they just don't spawn at this edge of the map where it's just like pure desert. I I have. I have a hundred and twelve. 112 barrel nuts. That is that's too many barrel nuts, no matter how much you you uh, count it up. 117 now. Can I get out of the desert? 122. Can I can I get out of the desert, please? I guess I guess I chose this for myself, huh? I chose to spawn in the rocky desert areas. Hello. What the? Stop doing that. Stop doing that. I I was very tempted to hit him with my my taser. Just, uh, do not do that in my presence, please and thank you. Oh, it's a, it's a regular blue power slug. I'll get yet another five barrel nuts and then go collect this bad boy. Ain't nobody around to collect me, to, or to watch me committing sins. This semi-slug seems oh. to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into Fixit technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Why didn't you have anything to say when I picked up a, a yellow slug? I guess it's because it's not like a regular blue slug. That is... That's peculiar. That is, that is certainly strange. Oh my god, okay, that, that's a huge cliff to fall down, so where... <laughs> where the hell are, are we on the map? Look, okay, I know that, like, the, uh, the dune desert is, like, way over here. And, like, all this area is, like, dune desert. And I know that the northern fields, is, or the northern forest is, like, here. So then, what, like, grassy fields are over here? Was I close? Did I mess up? I'm gonna go all the way back I'm gonna go back home. <laughs> we're gonna go back home, and we're gonna go in a different direction. We're gonna try this again, okay? Oh, wait, another slug. Beast. Hello there, bean boy. Don't mind me, just committing sins. All right, let's, uh, oh, oh, didn't mean to bounce on you, but thank you for having a soft, squishy body and, you know, not trying to kill me. Oh, it's some Sam ore, what the hell? I didn't think we'd be finding any Sam ore. Uh, oh, wow. They, they changed the look of Sam ore, haven't they? I'm just gonna, we're just gonna mine up a bunch of this, however, yeah, okay, 50, 53. Uh, Sam ore is an in, in production ore that doesn't really mean anything right now. You can just you can only collect it in, in like little bits right there that you can't actually like mine any of it uh, properly. There's no node for Sam ore. But um, yeah, that's coming in the future, I guess. Like uh, S A M Sam, whatever that could possibly mean. It's just like a filler thing for now. I, it probably won't be called that when it's done. And it'll probably look quite different. If it doesn't though, that'd be cool. Because that, that ore looks freaking dope. You know, limestone is yellow, whatever. Iron and copper are, are iron and copper colors. It's, you know, silver, bronze. But the Sam ore is like a, like a mystery, just like black with like multicolored funness. It looks interesting. All right, let's get lower to the ground, why don't we? Oh, yeah, almost fell down a bit too far. Ah. I'm going back to base now. Unless we find anything else interesting like Sam Moore, um, um, yeah, it's gonna hard cut to base right now. 
Okay, so we're back at base. Now we're gonna go this way. Uh, Pioneer's fate is oriented that way. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we have mountains though. You know what? It's fine. We're just gonna go around here. We came from that direction. So now we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna find ourselves a freaking fracking mother freaking paleberry, okay? Yeah. Uh, gonna find me a paleberry. Is this like close to where I spawn? Yeah, I feel like this is like, you know, right, right around that area. Oh God! No! 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 Big, big desert spitter! Don't, don't come at me! I'm good. I'm good. I learned. I learned my place. <laughs> Why am I being punished for wanting to get some pale berries? Damn it! They're just, they're just pale berries. That's not anything special. Oh God! We have the edge of the map over here too. Okay. Well, yeah, we're kind of forced to go this way, but my man is uh, gatekeeping like a little son of a bitch. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut out what I just was just talking about because that is a spoiler for the game and you will see as we come. So, you know, I sound like a crazy man right now, but I talked about spoilers. So, that is why, I, you, you know what? I'm just gonna cut away. Oh! Oh my god, it's a pillberry bush! Holy shit! Our quest! The quest for the almighty fucking pillberry! Holy shit! Oh, and nice, we got one with three. You can find pale berries on bushes in uh, capacities of 1, 2, or 3. At least I think. They, they might have actually removed the RNG from it. But it, it used to be that way. Where um, it was kind of random. I think they actually changed this so that it's 3 every time now. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But yes, finally pale berries. Oh my god. Like literally the moment we find luscious green grass. There's just a pale berry right there. I guess how they coded the world is that if there is sand, no paleberry spawn ever. But uh, if there isn't sand and there's green grass, paleberry can spawn. And you know what? I guess I'm fine with that. Oh no. Yep. Okay. So they can still spawn in one, two, or three. Oh, there's a one bush. Uh, and paleberries respawn just like barrel nuts. So as long as you know where some bushes are, uh, it's not so bad to gather them. But since they don't spawn in guaranteed batches of five, like barrel nuts, you get quite a bit less. And then bacon agaric always spawn as individual stems, so you only get one every time. Which is important, because you can combine all three into make like a, like a nutritional medicine, which will, you know, instead of healing half a heart, a uh, full heart, or two hearts, it'll heal your entire health bar. So you want to get that technology ASAP in order to be efficient with all of your healing supplies and stuff. But yeah, now that we've done that, I will be going back to base, because I got pale berries for another reason. Not not even for health stuff and s research things. I don't even care about that. I, I brought health pale berries for another reason, which might not even matter, depending. I don't know, we'll see. I'm going back to base. Oh wait, there were a bunch of other pale berries over here. I didn't realize it. I was just heading straight to that way, but there was more greenery on the way here. Oh shit! Oh shit! I didn't mean to disturb you guys, sorry! Didn't see you coming there. I should have been listening with the audio, but I was explaining things. Oh, oh, no, not, not you two! I heard, like, electricity. I was like, what is that? It was just the sound of their wings buzzing. There we go. Okay, can we quickly do, like, a little sweep through here, get us some berries, and then leave? What? Oh, I heard the sound of something. Uh, oh, berries, berries, berries. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, give me the berry. Give me the berry. Berry, berry. <laughs> give it. Gib. Oh, my God. Why is this so accurate? Okay. Okay. I take from you. No. Oh, God. I'm fucking around and I'm finding out. I'm fucking around. No, no. No! No! Get away! Get, get. Okay, you know what? We're, we're out. I don't want to die here. I'm good. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a dip. Thank you for the pale berries. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh boy, what is that? Like 151 <laughs> barrel nuts? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, we are. We have a lot of those now. Oh god! Oh god! Big spinner boy! No thanks. Oh, thanks. We're just gonna eat a few of these to protect ourselves, and we'll walk around you like this. Oh. 
So a regular spitter, their attack will split up in midair. You know, it, it's like an ex- like a little explosive blast that like splits up into many like mini like explosive rocket blasts. Uh, that's like, quite a bit worse. But I guess that one is like a shockwave or something. I don't know. It looks cool though. I ne- never never killed one of those. But they seem strong. So let's stay away for now. And on top of them having like special effects like you know splitting up or doing a like a little wave, they will do a lot more damage than their smaller counterparts. So try to avoid them until we have some better weaponry slash defenses or both. Right, so <laughs> here we are at base. I started this episode with one objective, and that was to get a pale berry. It has been 32 minutes and 45 seconds. 32 minutes for us to find some pale berries. But you know what? This episode was still productive regardless because we found uh, Samor. We found power slugs. We found some sulfur. Uh, and we got a bunch of pale berries and tons of barrel nuts. Uh, as well as our first uh, stinger remains. So you know what? That's a, that's a good exploration uh, for now. That's some good research we can get in the uh, the MAM, but like I said, I didn't get these things so that I could research them. Uh, I didn't go on this journey for that reason. Let me put all this shit away for now. Hatchery remains, spider remains. I I got the pale berries for one specific reason, and you're about to find out why. Now let me just uh, grab specifically one pale berry. Yep. And oh. What happened there? Did I did I drop the paleberry like into the terminal? Oh, it. Le- <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah. So I want to be able to just drop one, uh, like so, because, and I saw it when I came back. There's a little dude over here. It was in the distance. There he is. Hey there, buddy. And yeah, there's a there's a lizard doggo in our base. And if you tempt them with paleberries. Oh, oh! I scared him off. No, come back, friend. What if I scare him in this direction? You know what? I'll just follow him and and uh, get my pale berry ready to go. Hey there, buddy. I want to approach slowly. He sees us. We drop our pale berry. We walk away. We tempt. We we tempt and goad. No, friend. Show interest in the berry. Show interest. Yeah, oh, he's interested. He's interested. Oh, God, I got too close. I scared him off. No. It's a, it's a delicate balance uh, trying to get your hands on one of these these friends. But you have to you have to play it just right. Okay, we'll get closer. We, we, we play the game again. I have learned from my mistakes. Hey there, friend. Turn around. Hey there, friend, turn around. No, no, friend, turn around. Friend, turn around. Friend, turn around. Hey there, buddy. It's very time. Okay. Stay still. You want him to eat, start eating the berry? Then go up to him and pet him. There we go. He's our doggo now. And we can name him uh, to be... <laughs> what should he, will we name this fun little dude? He'll be... Um... Yeah. <laughs> Is Rara too lazy? Oh, well, We'll call him, we'll call him Lil L- L- R. Yeah. And with lizard doggos, you can um, put stuff in their inventory if you want them to hold something. Which can be used for nefarious reasons that we'll get into much later. <laughs> but uh, they can also find things randomly. So if you check on your tamed lizard doggos, uh, you, uh, you can name them now. And they have this little thing. This is this was not here in Update 6. So that's cool. He's a he's little li- 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 Rara. We got, we got a little R right here. And yeah. They're just nice to have and they're very cute. And now that you've tamed it, they will follow you around and be cute. Uh, you, don't, you don't actually have to worry about upkeeping them. You don't actually have to uh, to feed them, but you know, petting them is cool. Yeah, you pet, and you check inventory. I wish you could just pet and not check the inventory, though. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, come on, dude. 
th- this was this was half an hour well spent getting pale barriers so we can make a little little dog friend. You see how cute this guy is. This this is why I spent all that money to get the the big plush. That is that is why I've done it for the kawaiiness. And in between last episode and this one, I turned off the factory because we were just burning through um, biomass, and we have like a good supply of things now. Look at all, look at all those iron sheets. I, I call them sheets. I mean, they're, they're plates. It doesn't really matter. You get the idea. We have hundreds of iron rods and uh, a lot of screws. A lot of screws. Love that for us. But I turned it off because if it was running for all this time, we'd, we'd be out of biomass right now. And as you can see, we don't exactly have a lot of backup biomass. This is pretty much all we have. And I'd have to go pick up a lot more plants again, and I don't want to do that. Oh my god, stop doing that near the base. Get the fuck out of here. You know what, yeah, you, you deserve death for that. <laughs> stop being weird near the base, okay? Yeah, but now we're 38 minutes into the, the section, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> This episode's gonna be long, okay? I mean, not for you, but for me. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the uh, copper, and we're going to set ourselves up with a uh, minor Mark I, and we will be dragging down some of the stuff and making factories down here. So I'll be right back. Oh, but first, let me pick up some stuff from the storage container over here. That'll be very useful. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> I just realized on the uh, the way here that I didn't turn the power grid back on, so I'm gonna have to go and do that. That's super fun. And why did you respawn? Hey, hey, I killed you. <laughs> Coffee stain dev team. I I killed this thing. I killed this thing. Uh, although maybe that isn't a, a a glitch. They've added a new like enemy system in the game where. Uh, you know, if there's more factories nearby, then there aren't so many spawns of enemies, but if there are... If there aren't, then there aren't. And we don't really have anything over here, so I guess that makes sense. But either way... Oh, we gotta kill these guys again! Which isn't pog for us. Okay, come on. Damn it, it got off another, like, batch at the end there. Owie. Anyways, uh, grab, pick up. Just pick up. And we will turn you into a boy. Okay. And I think the plan here is just like drag this down. We're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna drag it uh, down the mountain. I don't know if we can go directly down. Oh yeah, that's way too steep. Unless we went from like there to there. Nope. The steepness is too real. Okay. That's cool. Okay, let's get rid of this, and then do a little bit of, um, turny warny. By that I mean destroying, and then turning this way. And we'll just have to kind of more slowly bring it down the mountain face. I wonder if we could just... Ah. What if we turn that too? Just like go... Um, okay, that's gonna be a little awkward, but it works. Yep, and let's get a power pull up here, too. Oop. I'm trying to connect this uh, as best we can. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hey, it works. Okay, so, yeah, theoretically, once we turn the power grid on, uh, this should be okay. And now that we have conveyor belts up here, we can just kind of ride this. And this works as like a permanent shortcut, so we don't have to go all the way around over there and then like up to all those things down here. We can just ride this. That is one of the strengths of conveyor belts and, you know, for getting back out there, we just run against the grain. It's quite nice. So we just run this down here. And conveyor belts have like a build limit uh, in terms of distance, so you can only go so far until it turns red, even if you have the necessary materials. So don't worry about if it shows red for a little bit, just um, keep on keeping on. Except for in this situation where I did, I have actually ran out of materials. We're just going to phase right through that rock there, don't even, don't even worry about it. Materials can go pretty much through anything. As long as the conveyor belt can be built, then it works. 
<laughs> so like if if something would run into a rock or a tree, it doesn't matter. It just it does, the game says we do not care. Okay, yeah, let's turn the power grid back on. I took out some fuel from one of those things. Or I put it in standby mode, so we'll just undo that. This one, boop. Power grid. All right, everything is functioning. That's unfortunate for me, but it's fine. It's fine. We just need to get concrete up and running. And for that, we're going to need more Mark 1 belts, so... Shit. We need to convert some concrete. I mean, we need to convert a little bit more concrete, and as well as picking up some more iron sheets. So we pick up you. And then I will just be here making concrete for a little bit. Okay, fortunately that wasn't too long. Where is our thingy? Oh, well, you can see it up there. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the limestone. It's creeping. It's creeping slowly. There we go. Okay. And then we stopped right here at this rock, which is cool. Um, and I wanted to bring this a lot closer over there. Yay. And right here we'll start um, with like a constructor or two. See, the, th the thing with limestone uh, to make it into concrete is that you don't actually need ingots. You don't need to smelt into anything because you can't you can't smelt limestone into stuff. So it just goes right into a constructor. And we need more, more reinforced iron. We need to automate reinforced iron plates at some point. Um, we will do that in a future episode, but not right now. Let me go and uh, just make some of those. If we can, I'll just make a craft bench right here and just do that. Oh, there we go. So we'll just make like six for now call it at that yep goodbye you okay limestone's coming let me just check the recipe really quick i know this facing the wrong way 45 limestone a minute to make 15 uh concrete a minute that's a little awkward because we can only bring out 60 uh limestone a minute on the belt so even if we were to try to get this to be like a good number we can't because we would need a 90 limestone in two machines to get 30 concrete a minute. But we can't support that yet. So we just have to deal with uneven uh, ratios and stuff. A little unfortunate, but as long as you keep playing through the game, then this will not be an issue for too much longer. There we go. Concrete. And... Oh. Do we have... Okay, you're kind of a good power up pulling it. You'll work for now. Yeah, we just convert limestone uh, directly into concrete, so that's nice, and we can start storing it. Now, this is going to be a very small amount of concrete. It is not a lot. We'll just make a storage box over here, kind of like lining it up, roughly. Like I said, try to place your stuff first, but you don't have to exactly in every single situation ever. Um, it would just help. And there we go. Okay, so now we have, like, the most basic of all resources completed. The most basic stuff for, um, limestone, copper, and iron. Which is, like, a huge step up. So, we have gotten to a point where hardly ever we even use the, uh, craft bench now. Which is so good. Which is so good. Obviously, I still I still whip it out if I'm just like short on a couple materials here. That'll take a few seconds, but we're no longer at the point where we're crafting for like ten minutes straight at the thing, or even five minutes, or even one minute. So big ups, we are we are improving, and this should be a mostly sustainable factory until our power runs out, and um, <laughs> we don't exactly want the power to run out, which is why we're getting obstacle clearing because if you don't remember. Uh, obstacle clearing will give us access to uh, get out of the way, a solid biofuel, which is the improved version of biofuel. I'll set up like a, a temporary constructor, which actually can uh, changes our um, what's it called inventory, which changes our biomass into biofuel, right? And I'll also have another thing that will convert things into biomass. You'll you'll see as we go. But also we get access to the chainsaw, which is. 
Oh, so nice. Because what the chainsaw will allow us to do is it'll allow us to cut down, like, bigger trees um, and just things in the way. We, we can basically, instead of doing this to get, like, a small leaf, the chainsaw, you could chainsaw, like, this piece of wood here, and it gets, like, all of these leaves and, um, uh, you know, flora just, like, nearby. So it would clear out this whole area. So one use of the chainsaw would basically do this. And then just, like, have that whole section empty. So then we can use a chance over here, gather all this really quick, and it's just so nice. It's nice on your fingers, and uh, it saves us. It saves so much time. And since you can basically, with the chainsaw, get tons of biomass, and then also with that technology we can get biofuel, it basically allows you to mass upscale your biomass production, uh, at least until we get to fully automated power. Which should be coming in not too, too much longer. Maybe a few more episodes, though. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to call it on this episode. Well, this is like a Paleberry episode. I explored today. And we'll we'll see all the um, the ramifications, or what's the word? All the rewards that we get in our, in our ma'am here in the next one from all the stuff we got. But yeah, now we have the mycelia tree, the power slug tree, and the sulfur tree. So that's nice. But yeah. That's next episode stuff, so hope you had fun. I'll see you then. I've been Rara, and have a good night, everybody. Or, or day. I don't know why I said night. Have, have a good day. Yeah. Day as in, like, day or night, but, like, any time uh, that you get what I mean. Bye! <laughs>